Hey guys, it's AC Conditioner, and welcome back for another episode of Genshin Impact 2.0 Events. Last time, we finished the other mechanic at Stage of Wonders, and it was a pretty decent event, although it has finished. And today, I'm going to be doing Phantom Over Phantom Overflow Phantom Flow. Why, where'd the overflow come from? And I am super behind on this because this event started for a long time ago, and I really should have done this on the day of release, but. One thing led to another, and here I am now, so let's just... Okay, is it all the way over there? Okay, well... So the whole point of this event is going to be me just... Sh trying to showcasing every single challenge, as this is actually, um... I believe this is actually a rehash of a another event, I believe, called Contending Tides. From all the way from 1.4, which I have covered on this channel. It's a bit harder apparently and I remember in cutting ties I did not find that to be easy whatsoever but now luckily I have a brand new team so hopefully it'll be different let's just hope but I'll probably not go for like the hardest difficulty because I I'm not down to rage and die and I know there's a, a bunch of challenges in this one compared to contending tides so I'm just gonna be try doing the medium difficulty challenge or at least like hardish, because I know there is a fourth difficulty. Yep, it's an arena four and everything. Oh my gosh! Oh, so that's why there's an arena here. I was wondering why there was an arena here. Okay, because uh, I, I I came in multiple times and I was wondering why on earth is there like an arena like place here. Now I know. Let's talk to the show. Okay, by the way, my mouse is super buggy today. I don't know why. Hello, my name is Shou Sen. I'm the master of Shinyu. From your appearance, you must be a travel from afar. What do you say? Are you interested in learning this art? This is the original skill that I invented. It is different from the Iwakura and Kitane arts, or even the Favonius Blade from War Physique, which all require weapons in combat, or for combat. In the sense that the essence of my technique is an accessing one's heart to home one's combat skills. In my early years, I have traveled abroad to study martial arts, therefore I observed not them boxing arts. When they practiced, they would fight with an imaginary opponent. Imaginary opponent? Precisely, you imagine your opponent's actions and react based on your own imagination. This practice, which the locals there call shadow boxing, appeared to be rather lofty skill to me. As such, Shinyo is an unrestricted school of fighting that makes use of this practice method. Under my guidance, you will recreate all manner of imaginary opponents. From Sly to Ochimusha, and even to those of the Island of Warriors from Chesnaya. So as long as you are well versed in the art of Shinyu, you can easily recreate a battle with them to hone your combat skills. By the way, I'm afraid that the mightiest creature of the world is the Electro Crystal Fly, Nagatane. Wait, what? The, I believe the mightiest creature in the world is Electro Crystal Fly. Nagatane, the previous Iwakura successor, once tried to challenge a human shit Electro Crystal Fly using Shinyu. He barely lasted a 10 seconds. This art is not limited to opponents alone. I can stimulate the wind, direction, weather, mechanisms, and even land disorders using Shinyu. It is truly a practical skill. Paimon's gonna ask if Shinyu is already so strong, why do you still need to ask people to join yourself, Mr. Shosen? My Shinyu is a little too real, to the point where my disciples can become injured when finding their imaginary foes. Even an imaginary blade created by Shinyu can slash your hands and feet. A musket so magic can also shoot through your body. As times go by, people who are not devoted to martial arts will leave Shinyu out of fear. As for some others, I just that they were manic martial desperados, unsuitable of the master of this art, so I kicked them out. Indeed, however, I believe they are most suitable for the art of Shinyu. Press B to use it. Even, would you like to give it a go? Well, if you're interested, just imagine the platform in front of you as the Shinyu Arena. I'll play. I will then tailor make the most suitable battlefield for you by the power of Shinyu. Be careful and mind you, don't get hurt after all. Shinyu can truly be ruthless. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that word right, Shinyu. So we basically have to go here, and there are multiple different rewards depending on difficulties. Yep, and there are four difficulties, so... Now that I completed it... We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
Eh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, it's, it's by, wait, by the way, it's just seven. I don't know why I said eight, but oh no. Oh no, I'm gonna I'm gonna freaking scream. Okay. So if I'm in sin. Um uh, <laughs> Extreme shield and difficulty to lock. I'm good. Um uh, oh god. I'm just gonna try a hard difficulty for now. Because I just want talent bucks. I would not care too much about Hero Sword. I could just do it off camera. If it's if hard is too easy for me, then I'll go into extreme the next one, and I'll see how far I can do before time runs out. Because yeah. So defeat 20 points within 24 seconds. Okay, no more than one character death. That's that's fine. There's no end. <laughs> I can you. Level 85, not bad. This, this is easy. This is this is this is nice. Can you not cover the screen for my audience? Thank you very much. Punish. Okay, you go unleash the Yaksha. Come here. You're dead. Also, I don't think they're using muskets, they're clearly using crossbows. You're dead. You're dead. Oh, what? I, oh, I died, died. I was scared for a second. You're dead. And they're all dead. <laughs> That's not that bad. So, I'm gonna claim this later. Let's try extreme. I'll, I'll try extreme on this one. Okay, so I'm back after trying to stream on my own, and yeah, it's definitely not working for me. I'm just gonna stick with hard for the rest of it then. And I'll do the screen off camera. If I can. But I can't promise anything. Dead. Thank for mercy. Oh god. Come on, quick, quick, quick. I'm a bit quiet because I'm nervous again. Oh god. Oh god. Hey, thanks for that. This might just be a few minutes to video thing then. I could do like the first four. And I could do the last screen in the, in the next video. Oh god. 
Hey, crush that. You're on low hope though. Let's do no bars can hold me. Oh god, I hate this. Come here. How dare you make me do this again? You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. I need to move off here. Prepare to die, fool. Here. 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 Useless. Quick lightning flash. I condemn you. Fire, fire, hands up, fire. Thank God, he's dead as well. My God, so many people, so many people right now on life support. I'm probably gonna get, I'm probably gonna lose here. Hard difficulty. You only live once. Following thunder. Rack and ruin. How am I doing this? How am I doing this? How am I alive? God, Huta was such a clutch when she used her correctly. This is this is a this is a perfect situation for Huta, by the way. That was ridiculously fast. How much time has passed? I'm gonna check time. Four minutes. Oh my goodness. Maybe I could do all of them today. Let's do it. They call Iron Skin. Let's do it. All right, I'm back, and I actually came prepared this time around because I died to the Rune Guard one. I'm still surprised I got these three done on like low health, but I could definitely get get this one done as well easily. It should not be that hard. I don't start off with any ultimates, which which any ult still that sucks. Oh god. Okay. Dodge that somehow. Those homing missiles are kind of annoying, not gonna lie. Also, I actually have food this time around, so I can heal. Excuse me! He's there, yep, they're dead already. Easy, easy one. Next up was Wavebreaker. The threat here is the. Fire Lotro. Or Frost on Lotro, as they like to call it. I condemn you! Oh, I also have this. Eye for an eye. Lightning flash. Shudder. I feel like I can use the strategy again. Let's go. You are so dead now. You're good dead. Here. 
And they're all dead. I know like this video's been cut to multiple parts, but I might just make it into one video because they're so short. This is so easy. I probably don't wanna jinx it. Cause this sucks. Here it is. Defeat one wait, defeat one opponent within two forty seconds. One one opponent? Wait, do I fight both of them, but I only have to beat one? If that's, the, if that's the case. Yes, please. Make it easy for me, please. I don't want to beat both of them. I want, I, I'm going to be... Bow before the abyss. Oh, I'm, fi I'm only finding the abyss in your world? Interesting. I, condemn you. I like this, I like this, I like this. Come here. Now, the abyss herald is actually a monster that we've, we've actually fought before. If you guys don't remember and we'll be reunited, we fought this dude. Following thunder. So it's nice that we actually gotta kick his ass again, even though he's fake. Here's his Hydra Shield. Like I said, this guy's not easy, but he is now perma affected by Wasp, so you can you can go you can you can actually go for the full freeze melee if you want. Which I am going to. Is my mouse cooperates with me. Now this now this day just take down the shield and he's dead for good. But I believe elemental attacks will only affect this thing, so Oh god. I've got to heal. I'm so used to not healing that I'm not even healing right now. Everything's going. I actually also can fight this guy in, in Spiral Blizz if you want to. He's not weak with boss though. Yep, he's dead. So we don't fight the Abyss Horde or so we fight one of them? Is that is that how it works? I'll check the I, I want, I'm gonna check sex difficulty again. Oh we fight the Abyss Herald and the Elector at the same time, okay. Okay, now I get it. But yep, that's one one vid one take. It's all done. It only took like one take. I'm I'm not gonna show like the highest difficulty because I because I think that's like a waste of time in my opinion. It's not worth it. I'm only doing the flip primos anyway. So we can claim that. I can get my talent books as well. I need talent books too. So give me them primos. You get 420 primo gems, which is nice. And I think this will be it. So once again, not that bad. It's, it's not. It was not. It's not bad, but it's not that good. It's just maybe. It's just a mediocre event. It's, it's a small event, which is usually mediocre. So yeah, it's one video. That's fan of flow done for for me. And next time, we'll be doing the last event of 2.0, Leyline Overflow. I'll see you guys then. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to see more content, and I'll see you guys then. AC Kishner, signing out. Have a good one, guys.